Guess what's arrived? I don't know if this is going to work. Just do it on before, but uh, yes, it's just arrived. Posty's just brought it, so I'm going to get it set up and have a look at it. It's the 3FUL Taji 2, and I got it from Campalist. I think I paid £181, and that was including the uh, postage. It's arrived in roughly about eight days it took. Um, so I'm pleased with that, that was quite quick. And uh, yeah, so the delivery I think was only £4, and there's no extra taxes to pay or anything. Once you get the checkout, they give you that price. Uh, that's the price you pay, there's no import or anything like that. So yeah, that's from Campolis. I'll put a link for the tent down below the video shortly. So, right, let's have a little look of it out of the box. I'll apologise for how this is looking. I'm just in my back garden and it is freezing here as well. I don't know if I can get that. But the box was a lot smaller. There we go. It actually looks bigger on the thing, but it's not actually, it's not actually that big. I thought it was going to be a bigger pack than that. I've just seen it on others and thought, oh god, that looks enormous. So, right, there this is. Let's have a quick look at it. I've not even opened it yet. Not had it. Got the elastic bands on it. So that's the that's the stuff that it comes in. That'll easily fit into my backpack. I know uh, some people will separate the poles and that, but as far as I can see, there's no need. I'm saying that. I don't know. I can't feel. <laughs> I'm hoping that the poles are in there. And there's the destructions. Uh, I've not got my glasses on. I've watched enough videos in the meantime before it arrived to sort of know roughly how it wants to go. So, right, I'll just stop you a moment and I'll get things sorted. Right, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, so that's a canny little bag, that. It does have some gum written on, uh, about 3FU gear. Oh, and about the lifetime warranty as well there, so there we go, all the tags still on it. 3FUL gear. Right, let's have a look at the, the bag. Nice little clips there, they look quite solid and robust on the, on the bag itself. Let's work out what type of clip they are. Yeah, just a spring clip. Obviously it's a bit of a little compression bag, so oh, that's good that it's a, yeah it's like a roll top, roll top stuff sack. It's got a good opening for the velcro on the top. I mean you're basically seeing this as I see it now. Uh, this is my first look. So there's the stuff sack. You've got your normal. Ah, there we go. The pegs and things, poles, pegs, just slid out from in the middle of the bag there. That is just a pull. Pull cord off there. So that's obviously the tent itself. I did go for the four season inner. I'd seen it with the three season inner. But it's basically all mesh with about maybe a two inch or so bathtub bottom going round and I just for me personally I thought the four season in it uh, would be a better choice for in the UK and obviously in the summer if I get too warm in it I'll uh, just open the doors on the inside but we'll have a look so yeah so in the pack is the there's your get your poles and then this other little bag is your pegs. I'm not going to go through numbers and things because I'm not sure of how many or what not you get. 
but there's the pegs. They feel pretty solid with the pull cord on there. And then obviously in that this bag here, I'm gonna imagine that'll be the uh, oh, your mat, your ground mat thing, you know the footprint it's a word I'm trying to think of that'll be the footprint for underneath so right I'll get the tent laid out now anyway and then it's a little bit windy so I'm probably just gonna pop it together get the tent up I think it's only two poles that go across and a third shorter one that holds the thing out but you'll see it when I get the tent up anyway so see you in a moment <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit blowy. I've done. I've just loosely pegged down the four corners. Uh, I've got to mention there's a repair kit and a spare pole kit repair in the bag as well, uh, with the pegs that you get and the guidelines. So, right, I'm just going to put these poles across. Trying to stop everything blown away, and every time I open something, Ollie's there to investigate. Out, oh, well, that looks like the shorter, short pole. So obviously it'd be two long poles going across. So that's it up but not pegged down obviously at the moment. Literally three minutes at the most just to get it to that. I didn't put the floor what's it? I keep the footprint on uh, just below the gale and my garden. It's that astro turf and the pegs are quite hard to get into the ground underneath it. So, but what I did see, I seen another chap. What he does, he gets the tent up and then he just tips it on his side and then he connects the footprint. So I'm going to have a go at that. But uh, yeah, all of the clips are the... It's like the little plastic hook over clips on the pole. That's where your guy ropes attached to. Those points there. So there's one of them each corners that's the top pole and the two bottom ones just click into this plastic piece here uh, and then this top one just goes across clicked on and then just at the end there so right not looked inside I'm going to try and put that floor sheet on and then we'll have a look in there she is up. Ah, so excited about this. A bit of a gap around the bottom here, but this is more to do with my garden. I'm going to get big dints and holes in it. But yeah, literally minute. I mean, first time putting it up, it took me about 10 minutes. I've still now, I've not looked inside yet, so it's, uh, it's uh, everything just clips onto these alloy poles. And there's your, I've not tied the guide ropes on. Uh, pegs with tensioners. Oh, decent, pretty decent quality straps, them. See, I put the footprint on. I can see a toggle there, but obviously for the door. And you've got your vents here, either side, which are on. Normal sort of thing, so you can close it down a little bit if you want. I'm trying to do it one handed, it's not easy. So there, yeah. Seems nice and taut. It'll probably adjust a few things. 
uh, is that really the ball? Right. Let's have a look what this four season inner looks like. Let's have a look. No, see, you just, these you can put on the doors. I've just put the one peg in for the for the time being. So. It's on a cord there. That's a nice smooth, smooth zip. I've obviously, <laughs> sods law that I've done, done the little side and not the big side. So we'll just undo that side. This is trying to do it one handed. Loading my phone. Yeah, there it is, the fourth season in there. Right, so I'll just get this door rolled up. Nice, right, so that's the door rolled up. It's a good idea, it's just on a bungee with a figure eight hoop. Goes on to the next loop there. See how the stitching seems nice and nice and neat, nothing close. Uh, yeah, so obviously the the uh, three season in there that comes with this tent is all this very fine mesh down to the bottom here whereas obviously the three to four season the more material there for the wind so see how easy these zips are that's that up there that done excuse the thing ah oh, yeah oh good size I'll only get down off Dad. Come on. Yeah, nice little vestibule there. Good area. Come on, off. Come in the house. You're obsessed with getting intense with me. I know I love you too. He's kissing me again. Yeah. And obviously, you've got the door on the opposite side, which is exactly the same. Well, there's dog size anyway for the tent. So, uh, yeah, you lay down. Ollie, don't get off me. In fact, there was a review on the tent. You munchkin. Well, oh, this is absolutely tons. Tons of room. <laughs> absolutely bags of room. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm glad I got this four season in there. The other door there. So, what have we got? I've got a little. Ah, that'll be for the inside door, the toggle there, isn't it? Yeah, to tie that back. So inside you've got one small bag there, put your phone in. That's basically all I ever use because I normally just put the rest of my stuff in my bag anyway, so that doesn't faze me. But yeah, have a look at the uh, front door. I don't, know what I've, what, I don't know what I've recorded not there because the dog's been jumping all over me. I was going on about the vestibules anyway, so plenty of room there. Easy enough to put your bag in. Same at the other side. <laughs> I was just saying it's great if you... Yeah, just one person can store your bag in there and your shoes in there. Cook, cook on this side. So if there's two years, because this is easy big enough for two people with the bags in the vestibules and whatnot, but yeah, uh, having the two doors, you're not climbing over each other. Now there's a little hook up the top there for your your lantern, another like figure eight, figure of eight hanging hook. Now oh, yeah. Brilliant. I think it comes in at 1.8 kilos. Um, I haven't used all the pegs, but there's still four left, so, and I've only not used two for those for the door. So, obviously, unusual, but it seems like you get two spare pegs. Uh, normally, you, you peg short. Ah, oh, no, I haven't. I've got the guy, two guy lines, that's what them two pegs are for. 
I thought it was a bit of a thing getting extra pegs. <laughs> There's also tons of space above my head as well there, me. That's me just sat up comfortable. Sit up. Cross leg there. Loads of room. If I didn't have my hat on, I'd just have my baldy head. Oh, there, if you've never seen my head before. Uh, was that a shock? <laughs> so, yeah, stacks of room. Chuffed to bits with it. Absolutely chuffed to bits. Right. Hey, actually, I don't know where I'll put this in, probably before the end. Um, but I have put the guy ropes on now. Just to. See, as you can see, because they're attached to the poles, obviously they pull the poles. And you can see how much torta that is. Well, hopefully you can. How much torta that material is now. That it's got the, the guy ropes pegged down. So, yeah. Great stuff. That's uh, just the other side of the, the other door. See, I've already come to the other side of the tent, but it's just the other, the other door, but yeah. So you get them four guide ropes put out. You can see how taut that is now. Brilliant. And they're just on these tensioners, which I don't know if I'll be able to do one hand, but basically they just pull up and down and then it just puts the extra pressure on the, onto the... Uh, to the pole. So, <laughs> great stuff. Yeah, what well, I also what I forgot to mention. I've got my neighbour Paul with us and he thought I was talking to him so he's answering back. <laughs> it's uh, once it's all up, it's, it pitches in and out uh, together. Uh, <coughs> so obviously if it's raining that you've nothing to worry about, it all goes up together. <laughs> and it's freestanding as well so once it's up you can move it around to whatever position you want it into so i'll pop that bit of info in as well because i keep forgetting bits right right so there we have it goes along with that it's the 3ful tar g2 and i got it in the uh, brown color i'm not sure exactly what the color but you do you can get it in the forest green as well and you can buy that um, when you order it, you can have the four season or the three season. Like I said, I went for the four season. Uh, but if you order the three season with the, basically the full mesh in it, uh, you can actually buy the four season in it separately. Um, I think it's £69 for the four season in it. So, yeah, so there, can't wait to get out and try it out. Just going to get it back in its bag now and uh, see how it all fits in my backpack. Happy days, right? Like I say, I'll put the link below for Camper List and to the tent and uh, go and take a look at it. Uh, they do have deals on a discount, so like you say, with Camper List, the price you, when you check out is inclusive of um, all your taxes and everything. So once it arrives, you don't have any extra to pay, like if you order it from, I don't know, Alibaba. I might be wrong, but I think firms like that, you order it. You now get an import taxes when goods arrived in and it could be 20 30 pound or whatever uh, i'm not sure the exact figures but with with campus you don't basically you pay the price on the screen and then it was well for me anyway it was four pound uh four pound postage and it come via royal mail tracked so yeah and th that was it the only pricing because he is a discount they do a good thing it's you spin this wheel like a wheel of fortune it goes around your clip and you can, it'll even give you, you can buy one, get one free, or 5% discount, or 4%, 3%, or whatever, but wherever it ends in, you, you get that and it'll give you the discount. So, yeah, but happy days. The, no problems with the ship or anything. It's come when I expected it to. So, great stuff. Like, like I say, the link will be down below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And watch out for the next one, which will probably be me camping in this. Right. Thanks a lot everyone and bye for now. Catch you on the next one.